Hello friends. So welcome again to this session on uh, real numbers. And uh, so far we were discussing greatest common divisor or highest common factor. If you have not seen our previous videos on GCD and Euclid's division lemma and algorithm, I would recommend you to watch them. And in this session, I am going to discuss a, a typical topic which is you know in studied in parallel with the concept of gcd and that is the concept of co prime numbers so we are going to discuss co primes because in number theory we will come across lots of uh, cases and examples and concepts where co primes are dealt with so what is a co prime uh, we define two numbers two integers again so it goes without saying that in all these lectures we are dealing only with integers so always keep that in your mind. So let's say if two numbers are there or two integers are there a and b. So a and b are co prime are co prime co prime when when gcd of gcd of a and b is equal to 1. Why are they called co prime? What was a prime number? Uh, prime number is nothing but a uh, number p is prime again I'm using the word number so don't get confused because by default it would mean an integer so a uh, uh, and especially positive integer so a, num a number p is uh, prime if if there are there are p is prime if there are only two factors two factors of p factors of p which all one and p itself so this was a prime example was example was 7 3 2 itself 11 13 31 all that yeah there are infinitely many primes that's another thing where people are uh, you know investigating to find out uh, which is the largest prime you might have come across there's a competition which goes on to find out the largest prime if you are not aware of just google it and you'll get to know so prime number is on integer which has only two factors one and p now why are we calling two numbers co prime so we mean that a is relatively prime to b and b is relatively prime to a so a and b are prime to each other that means what there is no common factor between a and b so neither you know uh, apart from one that is so if there are two numbers uh, a and b such that their highest common factor itself is one then they are called co primes so let us take examples of co prime numbers. So if you see 6 and 11 are co prime, why? Because GCD of 6 and 11 is 1. Now you might be thinking that one is prime, one of them is a prime number, so hence uh, they have to be co primes. But you can have examples where there are two composite numbers, yet they are co primes. Example, let's say 9 and 16. So if you if you see both 9 and 16 are not primes they are composite numbers but if you see gcd of 9 and 16 is 1 so they are co prime to each other similarly if you see uh, 32 and 25 both are composite numbers but if you see gcd 32 comma 25 is 1 and uh, to tell you you know there is an important observation in case of positive integers and what is that it is this that any two any two consecutive 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 integers any two consecutive integers are co prime you can check for yourself examples so 1 2 clearly gcd of 1 2 is one the only one factor that is one gcd of 9 and 10 both are composite but still 1 gcd of 24 and 25 both are composite but still 1 so you take any so hence to gen if we generalize it you will say uh, what will you say you will say that you will say that gcd gcd of n comma n plus 1 right two consecutive numbers is always 1 where n is a positive positive integer actually it holds true for any negative integer as well but 
for in number theory mostly we will be concerned with positive integers so hence typically we talk about positive integers but it doesn't mean that gcd of two negative consecutive integers would not be one okay so this is uh, uh, all about co-primes in the next video we will talk about the euclid's division algorithm and other algorithms to find out the greatest common divisor of any two positive integers. Thank you for watching this video.